Now I'm going to show you how I do a script recording. First I go to my templates and I open them up. I'm going to go down and I'm going to go into my template here and I'm going to go down and find John. Oops, went too far. John chapter 3. I'm going to have that. Because I have it set as my default to open MP3s and Audacity, it will open when I double click on it. The first thing I do is I actually do Control S to save the project. I'll be, go to my desktop, go to here, go into my originals, and because it's named correctly, it will go into that folder under the right name. I double click here, delete this, and I'm ready to go. I get the person comfortable behind the microphone when I'm recording them, and I hit the R, the record button, and then I say go. I don't press the button simultaneously because I found that I hit the wrong button, the computer legs, and I clip off the beginning of what the person says. So I found it's easier to erase the go. So I hit the R, go, John, chapter 3. Hit the space bar to stop, control F to fit to the window, and I know this is my go. It would be a lot smaller because I'm farther away, but because I'm talking to the microphone, it's the same level. I can take this, delete it, and I'm going to listen to make sure this is correct. John, chapter 3. Okay, everybody in the room likes it, so I control B to put a, a bookmark. Now, if you hit the R now, because it wants to write into there, you hit the R and you go, oh, that's not correct. So make sure that after you put the bookmark that you just at least click somewhere up here in the file. And it will append behind so you can click anywhere in here. So we're going to do verse 1. So I'm going to hit the R. Go. Verse 1. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, they made a mistake. I can hold the control button and I can scroll back and I can look at that and it's like, oh, we made a mistake. So you can take this and delete it if you want to. Or the other way is you just hit control Z and for some reason you have to do it twice and then you're ready to record it again. So I hit here, go, verse 1, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Say that they read that paragraph and you're happy with that. You can go back here and you can delete your go. And now you listen to it. Verse 1. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, and they're happy with that. So I'm going to go to the next spot. Control B. Make sure that you click out. And you're ready to record the next section. So that will be verse 5. So you hit the button. Go. 5. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, you like that? So we're going to take this. Going to delete it. Control S because we went to save. I'm going to listen to it. Five. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, and you just continue that along. Hit B. Click up here. Go. Ten. Blah, 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 blah. And you just continue on doing that. Remember to use your control to zoom in and out and other things. And so we go here. You just delete it off real quick. And then you listen to it. Ten. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, you're good. Control S to save it. Now when I get done here, I can go control F. And it will be a lot longer file than this, but I do the whole chapter with the chapter number that, and all the verses into one file. So I save it there, but the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to export this to my originals. So I hold the Control shift e Export, and I want to export it to a WAVE into the originals and John 3. So I hit Save. The, data, the metadata is correct. I hit OK, and it saved it as the file there, and that's how you do I do recordings.